Well, good day, YouTubers, friends, and family from across the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on October 15th, 2018. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet. We're going to start off looking at the sun here as we had a large plasma ejection, coronal mass ejection at that. It's a sunspot region that has been busy for the last couple of days. A few moments here looking at our star in the southern hemisphere. growing sunspot region throughout a large filament eruption northern hemisphere now Tzz. wow and that was earth facing so stay aware and prepared so yes i was reporting earlier about the large earthquake in new Tadim, caledonia I just want to show you here in the Pacific Disaster Center all of the latest updates here. Uh, earthquakes, 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 volcanoes, tsunamis, Hawaiian Islands, Alaska, BC, and US West Coast in the Loyalty Islands region. So I showed you in the earthquake video, the Loyalty Island region is just west of British Columbia. So please stay aware and prepare anybody living on the Cascadia fault line and San Andreas fault line, I do believe that we are on the verge of a very large earthquake. So please share this channel with everybody that you know so you could stay aware and prepared because I post disaster alerts as they happen. And I apologize that I didn't get to this right away, but I was really busy today and I'm here now. So thank you for joining me. I really appreciate <clears throat> All of my new friends and family from across the world, big shout outs to moderators, Dan Extreme Vocals and Miss J and Doc Hollywood, uh, Fairy Free Frequency, uh, Tam Bear, uh, lots of great people in the Dew crew and I love it. So here we're showing the last, believe it or not, six hours of earthquakes. So a lot of aftershocks after this large 6.3 followed by 6.5 or vice versa. But I just got reports that there was another earthquake in the same region, 6.3. So that is three very large earthquakes in a matter of six hours in New Caledonia. So this is all new land. I mean, this is New Zealand, New Papua, Gin Papua New Guinea, uh, New Caledonia. Earth is growing over here, and so we've got some major movement, crustal movement. The Ring of Fire is going crazy right now. Now there's a lot of things that are affecting our planet, and I've talked about many of them. You, all you subscribers know what they are. For those that don't, please subscribe, and you will find out soon. Looking over 7 Day Visible here is the life of Hurricane Michael as it ravaged Panama City and Mexico Beach. A viewer and great friend of mine, moderator, Mark Mucci, Earth Watcher, he um, posted a picture and it was, uh, it was quite crazy. I will share that with you in another video. But yeah, here's the last seven days over Texas. And I'm not confirmed on how many tornadoes have dropped in, in Texas recently, but for the last four days, there have been hundreds of warnings. And that's partially due to, of course, the life of Sergio, who is now scooted right across, across Texas. And there's another possible um, trop, uh, tropical development in Mexico so we're gonna watch for that as well so here we go five-day forecast Meteo Earth brought to you by Meteo Mike and here we are looking over Alaskan Aleutian Islands look at the size of that low-pressure system it is massive and I've been talking about how all of the low-pressure systems have deep lower level troughs well I'm sure the high-pressure systems are very deep as well and you can see the high pressure blockade is insane. When there's a high pressure ridge, like there ain't nothing stopping it. Uh, so stay aware and prepared. We have the collapsed magnetosphere. 
We're experiencing increased cosmic rays penetrating our ionosphere. NASA's aware of it. Our world is aware of it. Maybe you aren't aware of it, but you may be now. So please stay aware and prepared. Subscribe and share with your friends and family from across the world. Overlooking Northern Hemisphere here, you can see the low pressure systems in the Northern Hemisphere are really ramping up. And you know why? Because those are tropical systems that have moved into the Northern Hemisphere. So watch for all of these low pressure systems to, of course, go around the Northern Hemisphere, but they're gonna come down to the Hudson's Bay and they're gonna freeze Hudson's Bay quickly. You can see all that cold air just straight down, cutting off east to west. Wow, that is some cold weather. Ontario, feeling a little bit of winter now, as well as the Atlantic provinces. Over the next little while, But yeah, watching here over the Hudson's Bay, the low pressure system from the Alaskan Aleutian Islands, that was a burst of energy. So this low is coming from there and you can see it picking up speed as it heads across the Hudson's Bay. So a lot to look at here today and study these weather maps and the jet streams and watch how they work, they go. Up and down, north to south. Should be going from west to east. I remember when I was younger watching the weather network and they'd show the jet stream and like every so often there'd be a deep trough. But we have got increased low pressure systems and high pressure systems around the planet due to the collapsed magnetosphere. Everything is pushed down on Earth in our upper atmosphere right now. Look at the southern hemisphere. Large, vicious, low pressure systems. Like I'm telling you, like if one of these were to come over North America, it would probably dump a meter of snow and shut the country down. South America, Argentina, receiving a lot of snow in the mountains. I'm going to be getting into that as well. I'm going to get more in depth into this grand solar minimum. Just going to show you here the last six hours for solar wind speed. It's been over 600 kilometers per second for a few hours now. And then we had all those earthquakes. Thanks for watching today. This has been Mike with Morning Dew. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your morning dew. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. Subscribe. Share with your friends and family from across the world. Thank you.